Hey everyone, I'm going to very quickly show you how to access the MindTap uh, material for this course, which is going to be the majority of all graded work in the course. So let's take a look at that. There are two ways that you can do that. And by the way, I apologize. I am currently in the teacher mode, so things will look a little bit different from when you are looking at it as a student. Uh, reason is, is because uh, Cengage does not offer a student view for me to show you everything. So bear in mind that things may look a little bit different for you than they do in this video. Regardless, uh, here is the, uh, the first link you can use to get into MindTap. You click on this right here, and it will just take you to the overall course where you can look at all of the information that is presented in the course. And we'll take a look at that view in just a second. But the other way you can get to MindTap is in the weekly modules. You have your um, different assignments for MindTap. Uh, I'm going to try to label those with MindTap at the very beginning. You can click on one of these and it will give you this link to load the quiz in a new window that will open up in a new tab or a new window, depending on your browser settings, possibly. Uh, and then it will sign you in. By the way, I'm assuming that you have already set up your MindTap stuff. So you've already paid for the license and entered all that in, set up your account, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm assuming you've done all that before this video, but Regardless, what we have here is the um, actual assignment, in this case, the pre-assessment quiz, which you will be able to do. Uh, now, if you don't actually want to take the quiz just yet, you can actually click this X up here, and it will take you to this general view of the entire course. Now, this has all of the material for all of the course. Um, and this is part of the reason why I actually say that doing the modules in Canvas is going to be a much easier way of going about this than going through and looking at the MindTap stuff, because you could theoretically go all the way to chapter 13 and start taking the final quiz and activities, or even taking this um, post-assessment quiz right here at the very beginning of the class if you want to, and you really should not do that. So, like I said, try to do all this navigation through the Canvas modules. However, in the case that you find yourself here, I want to at least show you around so you know where to go. Um, now you have this course orientation here, some data files that you will actually need to download in order to complete the assignments for the entire course. I And, you know, there's a, a link to do that in the modules, in the week one module. Um, when you download this, you should save this somewhere where you will be able to easily find it. Maybe in your documents, maybe within your documents, you make a CBiz112 folder and then put the data files folder within the CBiz112 so that you can have all of your other CBiz112 work in that folder and then also the data files, but wherever you put it, make sure you know exactly where it is because you'll be using it throughout the entire uh, semester. Very important that you keep track of that. Yeah, that's course orientation. This one is a little bit different than all the other little folders here because all these other ones will have this learn it, study it, and apply it. Learn it is going to take you to the textbook reading which I recommend that you do. Uh, I'll try to cover some of the similar material with it, but there might be some places where the textbook covers that I don't and some places I cover where the textbook doesn't, depending on the topic. So the textbook is good to have. It is very good to be able to access it. Uh, study it. This actually gives you some flashcards and also some PowerPoints for you to use to review. And then finally, you will apply it. And this will be the quiz and the programming assignment and the uh, 
Canvas uh, modules, the weekly modules, will actually have links to these, this uh, quiz and this assignment right here. So in the week two module, you'll have a thing you can click to go to the, directly to the quiz and a thing you can click to go directly to the programming assignment. Something else you can do is you can look at the entirety of the textbook if you want. You can go to full book right here. And if you want, you can even um, full screen the textbook or you can half screen it so you can reference it while doing other things. But you can full screen the textbook uh, and actually go through. So this is the actual preface. What I actually recommend you do is to go to the textbook and click this read this before you begin page actually look through here just in case they talk about the data files they talk about a way to solve a particular issue that might come up if you have this issue then you know this section will be very useful for you also um things that you need if you are using your own computer and uh how to show uh file name extensions in windows 10 11 uh, access keys, all this kind of stuff. So that's pretty good information to have. But if you want to jump directly to a chapter, you can hit this uh, table, table of contents link right here, click the chapter, and then from here, there's an actual uh, table of contents that you can use to click through. And yeah, pretty easy. Uh, the textbook is broken up into two parts for each of the um, each of the chapters. You have this focus on the concepts lesson, which is a much uh, higher concept look at everything that we're talking about. So, uh, in this case, we have um, pseudocode and flowcharts. We have the main memory of a computer. So we're looking at these concepts about computers, learning about these things, so that we can then apply them later on in this apply the concepts lesson area, which is super helpful. When I have you read a chapter, you'll be reading both the focus and the apply. And of course I'll be delivering lectures on both the focus section and the apply section. And then you also have this chapter review with some pretty helpful information. You will want to pay attention to the exercises for a reason that I will talk about next week when we actually start trying to do the exercises themselves. But this exercise page in the textbook, you should know how to get to the exercise pages in the textbook reading, whether you're doing it from this full book section or whether you're doing it from, you know, this read part right here. Either way, you should know how to get to the exercises, but that's my expectations with regards to the textbook is that you should read through everything in the textbook every time I assign a chapter, and then you should also pay attention to these exercises at the very end. But like I said, more on that next week. You have some tools on the right sidebar, so you have some notes, you know, you can actually take notes on some of the material, especially if you're reading the textbook. You have a glossary of terms that you can access right here. We talked about full book. Um, you don't really need to worry so much about my content. Uh, Read speaker actually um, speaks some of the words on the screen out loud for you. So especially if you're having, um, if you have a sight impediment or something like that, Read speaker will be really helpful for that. I uh, got some flashcards. Uh, and then this progress, down here in progress, you'll actually be able to check your grades. However, uh, I wouldn't worry about checking grades through MindTap. I would actually just focus more on the Canvas gradebook. Like I said in the previous video, the Canvas gradebook will also reflect the assignment grades that are not shown in MindTap. So just worry about the Canvas gradebook. Although it might take a, a few minutes to update, if you complete a MindTap assignment, uh, and it's one of the automatically graded ones, that might take a few minutes before uh, it goes over to Canvas and then Canvas updates. So just keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, Canvas should show all of your grades from MindTap. 
Now the last thing is this additional resources area down here. There's a few appendices uh, that, you know, might have some helpful information. I think A and D in particular are going to be really helpful. And then also Appendix C, which actually has its own uh, associated exercises and quiz. They're not required for this class whatsoever because there's already quite a bit of work in this class. But uh, if you read through and follow along with the exercises and you know what's going on in the textbook and all that kind of stuff, it can give you some benefits because you will learn how to debug your code. Um, I won't be covering it. Uh, if you do want to do it as well, uh, I believe you'll need to go through chapter six in order to really understand everything that's going on in the code. Uh, so that's what I would recommend is wait until chapter six. And then if you feel like you want to do it for fun, read through and follow along, it could be very helpful. That lines up actually nicely with spring break. So you might have a little bit of extra time to do that if you so choose. I wouldn't prioritize it necessarily because you might also build those skills as you're going through the class. But regardless, that is there for you, if you so choose. I also have links to those helpful appendices in the, um, I believe it's the helpful resources module in Canvas, if you want to take a look through all of that. All right, well, hopefully that is all the information that you will need for MindTap, and you will probably learn more about the platform as you continue to go on through the class. Um, this should give you the information that you need in order to take the free assessment quiz and also download the data files, both of which I want you to do this week so that you'll be nice and ready to go for when we cover chapter one. So yeah, make sure you are actually able to access MindTap um, as soon as possible because we'll want to hit the ground running with chapter one. So you want to be able to actually make sure that you can see everything and actually complete the assignments that everything is working great. So if you haven't already, um, you can either buy access to uh, this course through the bookstore, or you can use the um, information about MindTap in order to actually, you know, get that uh, for through either our bookstore or whatever website you want to do, or you can actually buy it directly through Cengage. All of the instructions, hopefully you have read by now, but they are contained in the week one module. So make sure you're able to use MindTap and take all of that stuff ahead of time.